Hey there, I'm team behavior expert Josh Shipp. If you recently found out that your kid has been posting comments about pornography, it's time to have a talk with them as soon as possible. Now, most parents, understandably, are terrified about the idea of bringing up the topic of pornography and explaining to their kids the dangers that come with it. Now, my advice is this. Take a long car ride somewhere. This way, both of you are looking straight ahead at the windshield and not facing each other to have this super awkward conversation. Now, this isn't sort of avoiding the topic, but I have found, especially with young guys, it is uh, actually easier to get your teen to open up to you when you're not face-to-face, because -face. often sort of having that face-to-face -face conversation, especially if it's an awkward uh, topic, can sort of cause them to shut down because it feels like you're being confrontational with them. So the best way to start this conversation is just to flat out be honest, because that's what you expect from them, right, is for them to be honest with you. So if you were alerted uh, by Zabra that they had been talking about pornography, let them know. If you discovered an inappropriate site in their browser history, tell them. You should always communicate in a compassionate tone to show your sincere concern. Uh, you know, your kid sort of knows that pornography is probably not a good idea, you know, in sort of a scary world, so ask them what they think about it and what concerns they have about it. You know, they may not know that, as an example, that pornography addiction is actually a real thing. You know, spend some time talking about the trap of this addiction that has ruined so many healthy relationships between couples in our society. Uh, so here's how I would approach it with my kid, and you're welcome to just steal this and use it as your own if you wish. I'd probably say something to my kid like, um, hey son, you, you know what ESPN is, right? And they'd be like, yeah. Now, imagine someone from another country who doesn't know anything about basketball, and all they do is watch ESPN and they see basketball. Now imagine that all the information that they've ever received about basketball is from ESPN, you know, and just what ESPN shows. They would think that all that happens in a professional basketball game is wild dunks, clutch three-pointers, and that almost every shot goes in, because that's all the highlights show. But then imagine that that person goes to an actual NBA game. They would be wildly disappointed, because not every shot's a wild dunk, not every three-pointer goes in. You know, this is what pornography actually does to sex. It distorts it. Sex is not actually like pornography shows it to be. Pornography is a fantasy. Men don't look like that. Women don't look like that. Men don't act like that, and neither do women. It's not accurate. It's distorted, and it will warp your view of sex, and it could also hurt your future marriage. And then I would say this. And additionally, pornography is really damaging because it causes you to look at men or women only like sexual objects. You know, people are not objects, they are genuinely real people. A woman shouldn't be used for her body. She has hopes and feelings and dreams. Same thing with men. To view them only as their bodies is to disrespect them as a person. Now finally, and this is super, super important, make sure you don't shame your kid, right? The desire to see a naked body is a natural curiosity and a hormonal drive. So instead of laying on the guilt trip, offer to help them stay away from pornography by holding them accountable and installing filtering software that blocks these sort of sites. And then my final piece of advice is this. After that super awkward conversation, Say, all right, enough of that awkward conversation. Let's go get some ice cream. Your kid will breathe a sigh of relief, say, thank you, Jesus. Now go have some ice cream. All right? Listen, I know this conversation is going to be awkward to have. It's not going to be easy, but it's super, super important. Bottom line, if your kid does not get this information from you, the loving, caring parent, they're going to get it from someone else, very likely less qualified to give the advice than you. Get it done.